Police call it a multi-million dollar scam that targets vulnerable seniors in our area. But now in Maryland and Virginia, authorities are teaming up to crack down on unlicensed contractors. Josie Sermon is in Rockville tonight with how they're doing. Well, first and foremost, they are trying to send the message that they will take action swiftly. And a case involving the woman who lives here is just one example. She was victimized by what they call woodchucks, these fly-by-night tree trimmers. They not only overcharged her for shoddy work, they also took her checkbook and wrote their own check. Blind and dealing with disabilities at age 81, Selma Newtonboom depends on her family, but they couldn't protect her from this. And all of a sudden, one day they're in the tree working. Rogue tree trimmers, who were originally turned away by Selma's nephew, turned up again months later, charging her thousands for work they originally said would be 700 bucks. So they pour concrete in here, cut the branch off, $2,000. Fast money for unlicensed workers who were later caught and convicted. The county nailed these people to the wall. A case in point for Montgomery County leaders who today announced they'll be sharing information on scam contractors to send them away for stealing people's money. We see anything from four or five hundred dollars at a time up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Lieutenant Mike Hartnett has seen some heartbreakers. Seniors like Selma who've been scammed by everyone from bogus driveway pavers to bad roofers. The lady who lived in this Chevy Chase home was taken by 13 different contractors for 160 grand. They just kept coming back and coming back selling her uh, ch chimney repair and roofing repair and painting and stuff like that and there's nothing ever done to it. But investigators are getting to work here cracking down on unlawful licensed contractors and spreading the word so you don't end up with a story like Selma's. So if you see any red flags, they're there for a reason. Now, your best bet if you do need work done is not to go with any contractor who knocks or shows up your door unsolicited until you get other estimates, at least three of them, according to the state. And you've got to make sure they're licensed. Maryland has a guarantee fund, and you won't be eligible if the job goes wrong for any money unless you use a licensed contractor. Live in Rockville, Josie Sturman, ABC 7 News.